right now. Keeping it local, you're watching Fox 11 News Daybreak. Welcome back, 811 Talking Tech. Now you've likely noticed AI or artificial intelligence popping up just about everywhere. Tools are available for everything from entertainment to business, even education. And while there are some concerns about how it can be abused, our tech expert Andy Taylor shows us some benefits to the rapidly developing software. Well, AI seems to be just about everywhere. Everywhere you turn around now, there's a new AI that's coming up. And the AI, artificial intelligence, really expands our capabilities. Now, what's nice about it, we're on the kind of beginning stage of that. And what that means is we get a chance to try out a lot of this stuff without it already being proven and giving the ability to test it out without having to, without having to pay for it. Now, of course, OpenAI was where we all got the start last year, but now OpenAI is doing things a little differently. OpenAI is now doing graphics. So now you can go to open.ai and you can type in what you'd like to see. And they have different uh, examples. And basically what it does is the AI creates an image based on what you're asking for. In this case, we're gonna ask for Havelina talking on a microphone. There's something you don't see every day. And give it a little time, it will generate the image, giving us a look at what that would be. You can also add the words photorealism to give it a more realistic look. But again, the sky's the limit. And you can give it a try yourself just by going to OpenAI. Now there's a new player in town when it comes to AI. It's Anthropic and Amazon has invested quite a bit of money into Anthropic and you could chat with its AI deliverer called Claude. So what you do here is you go to the website anthropic.com and if you scroll down a bit, you'll see Claude in beta now available for you to try and again there's no charge to do this and you could talk to Claude just push the button it will take you to Claude.ai forward slash chats so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ask it to tell us a little bit about Tucson and what's nice about this is it goes ahead and it gives you the chat and then you could go ahead and open up word you can then easily copy by pressing the copy button and then paste it into Word. Now, this makes it easy in case you're working on a paper and you need something really quick. Now, of course, it's pulling info from the web, so you should always check for accuracy, but Anthropic is a new way to uh, work with AI technology. Now, another one that is more conversational is Pi.ai. Now, Pi.ai is more questions where it's learning from your responses and it's more personal more like chatting with a human so if you go to pi.ai you'll be able to experience the conversation with that ai and be able to input as it asks you questions like we're doing here all about well andrew there you go finding out more info about uh, who he is and what's fun about it is it will give you that information but you're helping it to add to how you feel about that, how a person may respond to that, uh, that particular subject that you're looking at. And finally, there is voice.ai. Now I've had a lot of fun with voice.ai because what it does is it gives you the ability to record into a microphone and then it will replicate that celebrity's voice. Now there is a small cost involved if you wanna give it a try, but again, how practical would this be in the real world? Some people online have been having fun with this on Discord, but say we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and say this into the microphone while we're in voice AI. Well, hello there, everybody at KMSB Fox 11. Hope you're doing well. Have a good day in Tucson. Give it a little time, it'll generate, and give you almost a reproduction. Now, you almost have to do an impression of that celebrity. Well, hello there, everybody at KMSB, Box 11. I hope you're doing well. Have a good day in Tucson. Well, AI is continuing to be used not only in education and business, but also in entertainment. And if you want to give it a shot, you could try it with some of these sources that we've shown you today. I'm Andy Taylor. I just have lots of ideas. George Clooney, good morning, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, woo! How can you focus on weather now?